Are you going to Coast Guard boot camp in the winter? Well, in this video, I'll share with you my experience. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Military Journeyman. My name is Julian Miata, and on this channel, I share with you military tips and money-saving hacks. So subscribe so you can stay up to date. So going to Coast Guard boot camp in the winter is very different than in the summer. One of the big things that was, was different was that we didn't work out as much outside. So I guess you could say that was a positive because we weren't out in the heat. There was no mosquitoes like in the spring. It did get a little bit more humid and it was actually kind of difficult because when we were doing push-ups and stuff like that, it would just be so hot and the floor would be so slippery that it was hard to like get into a push-up position. But that's one of the biggest things about going in the winter is one, you're not working out outside as much. Yes, you're still going to be working out outside. If there's no snow on the ground, you're doing push-ups, you're doing sit-ups and squats. But if it is, you're typically going to be inside. One of the other things that happens is you don't go on the runs as much. So when I went during January through March, I didn't get to go outside for those company runs. We didn't go out into the town. We stayed on bicycles or the cycles. So we would do a lot of cycling in the gym rather than running. So if you go in the summer, spring, autumn, expect to do more running. If you go in the winter, expect cycling. And for me, I'd prefer cycling because it was, it was a little bit more self-paced. They, they expected you to keep a certain like RPM, uh, but it was, it was really kind of like when they weren't looking, you kind of slowed down. As soon as they were looking at you, you'd speed up. Uh, so that's kind of the, the difference with that. One of the other things is we didn't do the confidence course. Now I know some of you are probably like, yes, I didn't want to do the confidence course. That looks scary. Or some of you are saying, oh man, I really want to do that because it looks fun. So that's one of the things it really is weather dependent. If it's too, if it's like snowy outside or, or the weather is just not right, you won't be doing it. And I've heard of some companies that uh, it, it was actually okay and they got to do it. Another thing is that you're going to be doing shoveling duty. So this could be good or bad. It, I actually kind of enjoyed it because it kind of broke things up. So when there was snowstorms or stuff like that, and when you're on watch, typically all you do is you stand there or you mop. But when you're in the winter, you get to do shoveling duty. So you would go out and you'd shovel the pavement and you could only be outside for 15 minutes because uh, they would do this thing called like black flag. So if it was really cold out, you'd only be outside for 15 minutes and then you had to come back inside. So that's one of the other duties that you'll be doing if you go during the winter. Now it does, it does suck that during the winter, it's just really cold. And what a lot of times what we, what we would do was when you're standing outside in formation and it's freezing cold, you want to tuck your, tuck your head into your jacket. But what the company commanders do not want to see is when you're standing outside the galley and you're standing in front of the big mirrors and everybody can see you, they don't want to see your heads tucking into your jackets. They, they call that turtlenecking and you're not supposed to turtleneck. You're supposed to stand straight. So if you happen to be behind the guy, you can maybe turtleneck, but if you're in the front, I'm sorry, bud, but you're kind of out of luck. You have to have that long neck and embrace the cold. They do dress you right. They will keep you warm. You'll get the beanies. You'll, you'll wear the, the Gore-Tex jackets. You'll wear the gloves. So you, you do stay warm, but there are some areas where it's like it's hitting your face and it's cold and your neck. But I would personally rather go during the winter just because it's for me, I would rather be working out and it'd be cold outside than working out and I'm just sweating or getting eaten by mosquitoes. I would say probably the best two months would be like autumn and winter because it's not as hot and you know you get to do some runs. So maybe autumn is, is maybe the more preferred time, but winter is definitely, uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages. So those are some of the biggest differences between going from the winter and the, all, all the other seasons. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you're just joining the Coast Guard, check out my Bootcamp Essentials playlist right here or watch this video right here. And subscribe because this channel is all about giving you military tips and money-saving hacks. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.